Hello everyone, it is Al Smith, the Gas Man, here with, uh, I want to say, a bonus addition uh, to uh, Regalia Therapy. Uh, offered a 10-part series uh, to uh, my fellow Sir Knights to help them laugh and make sense of what's going on in the fourth degree. And uh, again, it's been only two months uh, since uh, uh, the Regalia was officially retired. Uh, July the 1st, 2019, and uh, here we are uh, getting, I want to say, a field report uh, from men all over North America uh, about uh, what what they're experiencing, what they're feeling, and, uh, you know, what's happening on the ground, what's happening on the ground, and uh, again, people are looking for solutions because they're, they're a little bit perplexed. Uh, perplexed that uh, over a hundred thousand volunteers uh, were basically set, you know, told in a in a nice way. Um, those beautiful chapeaus you have, the capes that you've worn for all those years, uh, put them away. We ne we don't want to see them ever again. They're not allowed to come out in public. Um, you will be ridden up. You will be disciplined. If you ever show that chapeau and cape ever again, in essence, that's what's happened. Over 100,000 capes and chapeaus have been, have been, I want to say, quarantined. <laughs> and maybe this is the right word to use. They've been quarantined. And, and I said, uh, one of my friends asked me, he goes, um, does your, do these capes and chapeaus have uh, the bubonic plague added to them or uh, the AIDS virus or SARS like why why do they have to disappear forever and ever and they've been you've been legislated to never wear them again ever and, and it was a good question I said yeah do, is there is it is there a is there a risk to public health and safety if we ever wear the regalia again. And so uh, you can see why this is sending shockwaves uh, in through the volunteer ranks, because that's what we are, we're volunteers. So uh, it's only been two months uh, since, you know, the, the day uh, that they retired the regalia. And already uh, you see the pushback from both sides. And, um, you know, I, I just opened my mail again. Uh, there were 24 no, sorry, there's 20 Sir Knights uh, in the Windsor area that were ridden up um, for wearing the regalia. Um, almost like uh, <laughs> there's, a, there, there's government, <laughs> I'm not saying the government, there's, there's, there's people up there uh, policing this, policing this. And, um, you know, again, I'm not here to air our dirty laundry. I, I'm here to provide solutions uh, to uh, this little crisis, and I, I call it a crisis because, again, we're the church. Um, if you haven't read lately, <laughs> it doesn't have the best uh, <laughs> the best news stories coming out of it. Uh, but this regalia has been one of the best news stories for the last eighty years. Uh, all the joy, all the love that you see because of the capes and chapeaus, and so I want to propose some solutions. I I, you know, these are my dad's service medals, okay? My dad is a sailor. I'm the son of a sailor, okay? Like, um, that's why I wear blue so well, you know? It's kind of, it's what it is, right? And um, we were, I was up at 3.30 in the morning last night trying to make proposals. Uh, I do get phone calls from <laughs> the higher-ups uh, saying, you know, uh, we see you on Facebook again. We see you wearing the regalia, and you're having so much fun. Can you can you can you give me some advice? Can you help me out here? <laughs> and I just say, yeah. It's called the nautical privilege. Okay, so I want to introduce the nautical privilege. This is nautical style regalia. Okay, it's it's the sailors. It's it's nautical. The new uniform is paramilitary. It's army, okay? No, no, I just don't want to get into that army, army, navy thing. Um, but it, it's paramilitary, okay? And, and I said in one of my videos, 
we're not the military. We're the church militant, but not the military. And so it's called the nautical privilege. And what we would propose is just that the regalia be uh, reinstated uh, and you allow the members who own the nautical regalia to finish their term, to finish their journey, their, uh, I want to say pilgrimage here on earth, wearing what they want it to wear, uh, giving them that privilege to wear the nautical style regalia uh, until they pass away. Uh, the new uniform will continue to be presented as uh, the vision of what the knights want to uh, present, but the men who have sacrificed, who have, um, uh, you know, made great, um, uh, I wanted to say effort, effort to make the community a better place, uh, make the mass a better uh, experience, uh, those men will be given what we call the nautical privilege. And uh, just something to think about. It'll be very easy to reinstate. And uh, again, members will be allowed to, um, you know, I say pass on to the next life, uh, leave this world, dying in peace, and not dying with <laughs> an infraction notice in their hands, uh, with, you know, a warning to say you'll be suspended. Uh, but they die doing what they love, absolutely doing what they love, and that is putting on their regalia and coming out into the community. And so it's just called, again, the nautical privilege. And I will expand on it uh, in future videos. Uh, but I want to share with you my joy. There are solutions. Uh, we call it coexist. We, we <laughs> it's not my favorite word, but it's the word that works, uh, to coexist. Uh, an existing army of over 100,000 capes and chapeaux, you know, uh, lining with the new uh, paramilitary style uniform. And you've seen pictures. They look beautiful together. Again, we're brother knights. So uh, there's nothing wrong here. And uh, the old and new coexist all the time. Tradition and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, want to say uh, the new, the, 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 the breath of fresh air. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm lost for words in that one. But the old and the new coexist so beautifully. And this is what makes the church great. It's that blend of old and new. And uh, it allows the older knights, the Sir Knights, who um, appreciate this look to uh, be recognized, appreciate it, and uh, let them go back into service because they've been forcibly retired. Um, and uh, again, a man needs to work. He needs to go to work. And this is work that they love to do. So uh, again, I just wanted to share my joy. 3.30 in the morning, uh, I was standing in front of the fridge and it came to me, the nautical privilege. So I'll leave that with you here on Regalia Therapy, uh, bonus edition. And uh, hey, still got to do what we got to do. We, <laughs> we all need help. Uh, relics are a good thing. And so through the intercession of the venerable Father Michael J. McGivney, may he assist you in your journey, help you with your work, your family life, and uh, help you to, again, uh, navigate this, pro this pilgrimage, this earthly pilgrimage, uh, till we come to our true home in heaven. And may all God, mighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enjoy your day, men, and God love you. And we'll see you next time on Regalia Therapy with your host, Al Smith, the Gas Man.